Hello. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Hello. Are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Is my voice clear? Guys, is my voice clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, shall we begin the class? Yes, sir. <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, before uh, getting into the class, do you have any uh, doubts from the previous class? No, sir. I think there are only a uh, few people who are responding. What happened to the other guys? They have any uh, doubts? No, so, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, so before entering to this uh, 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 class, so I just wanted to reconfirm like, uh, can anyone tell me uh, what are the six benefits of uh, cloud computing? I hope uh, you guys are uh, making notes. Everyone is making notes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then, uh, then I think uh, you need to answer. And also, one more thing is uh, from uh, maybe today or maybe from tomorrow Speed onwards. Speed and agility. No, no, fine. One second, one second. So mostly, uh, it will be having uh, a number of steps. So I need every one of you to maintain their notes and. Uh, try to note the all the steps because uh, mostly all the procedures we do uh, will be involved with uh, so many steps so please uh, kindly uh, uh, maintain notes okay uh, okay so coming back yeah please uh, can anyone explain me the six benefits what are the six benefits of cloud computing uh, capital expense versus, uh, and variable expenses economies of scale capacity planning speed and agility capacity planning spend strategically stop spending money to run and maintain is ease of deployment uh, strategic Spend strategically. Okay. Ease of deployment. Okay. So I just want to uh, like uh, okay, these six are fine. So can uh, uh, can each of you can explain each uh, uh, each one point with some example so can anyone explain me what is this uh, capital expense was uh, variable expense so why is it advantage in uh, cloud computing and why is it not uh, advantage on uh, on premise uh, ser server maintenance yeah uh, cap on on premise uh, the capital expense will take more uh, like uh, to mm -hmm. maintain servers we have to maintain uh, manage the staff and lot mm -hmm. of space consumption time okay and good. lost a uh, lot of wastage uh, we do we don't we should not say it's wastage but uh, it's tough to maintain that would be sufficient it's tough uh, yes in variable okay. uh, we can uh, use it as per our requirement any example this for this aws uh, uh, pay as you go like okay okay so economies of scale can anyone explain no you can just try it doesn't mean that uh, you should be correct you can also be wrong i'll i'll be trying to correct you okay hardware solutions or physical requirements space mm -hmm. staff Physical okay. security. Mm -hmm. No purchasing power. Okay. Cloud provides leverage thousands of customers to achieve economies of scale. Okay. 
so is it beneficial classing of economic skills okay okay so why is it uh, speed and why is it agile why we are considering cloud computing as a speed and agile uh, it it got this data servers in uh, so many areas okay and correct we have to we have to connect it to all the uh, all the data centers within this correct very good what is this agile means so that's why it it has speed and agility okay speed is correct we can connect any time uh, throughout the world agile means whenever uh, we want we can add whenever we want to remove we can remove okay we can also call it as uh, flexibility okay very good and uh, what yes. is this uh, capacity planning why we are call, uh, calling it as capacity planning you can just try not a problem even it just on your capacity needs okay so if we have One lakh customers. Uh, now we have initially we have one lakh customers. Now we have three lakh customers. We won't lose those customers. Okay, very good. The capacity. So, so what we'll do? Eliminating guessing, sir. Like mm -hmm. uh, we uh, uh, we knew not to guess uh, guessing the uh, traffic uh, mm -hmm. because of uh, auto scaling. Mm -hmm. uh, automatically. Uh, added servicers within minutes. Correct. And no need to guessing the customers. Correct. When using AWS. Mm -hmm. So whenever uh, the number of customers or uh, the traffic increases, so automatically we can add number of servers accordingly. Okay. okay. No, Very good. And uh, what is this uh, spend strategically? one thing is uh, i i can understand that all of you have got that uh, concept correctly but uh, yes. what i would like is whenever you are uh, attending an interview or uh, whenever you are uh, facing some this thing or any person where you are uh, uh, having the communication with uh, regard to this cloud concept one thing is nobody can explain directly for example i will say if i say economies of scale so what most of the people will try to do is they will try to explain me the definition for example they'll say economies of scale scale means big and small economies okay it is involved in some money so that is not the right way of uh, explaining any concept to any person in an it area okay so so it, this is not like commerce or economic subject so you can't say uh, so money is involved that is involved so that is not the correct way so simply what you need to do is you can just take one example just take one example and you can uh, correlate this concept to them so that will uh, that will make a good impact to the opposite person so just now i think someone have started like for example i don't know their name he told uh, one lakh customers so that is uh, regarding to the when i say, when i ask for capacity planning he told me one lakh customers customers can increase so that is the correct way of explaining or attending any interviewer okay so keep that in mind so whenever you are explaining something especially on this aws or regarding this uh, cloud computing you need to take one example and make the opposite person to understand it so that is what you need to try okay so i think just i'll take this two points okay i'll ask so just try to explain me with an example so that will also improve your communication and the grip on the subject 
okay so try to explain me with uh, spend strategically can anyone explain spending strategically so try to explain with some example any any example mm. like uh, uh, in amazon there will be big billion days okay yeah in that time there will be lot of traffic correct yeah then uh, there is a need for more servers okay. in why i need uh, more to servers why i need more servers uh, to maintain the traffic okay to handle Balance. the traffic to handle the traffic yes okay okay yeah yeah uh, after the big billion days uh, there might not be uh, required for the uh, another servers like more ser servers so okay. in that case we can turn off them correct so what happens that if is, i turn uh, off the extra ter extra, extra servers yeah uh, like uh, for uh, how long you used only for for that it, it will be charged okay the cost will reduce itself okay so uh, how we, uh, okay so when i run more servers i need to spend more when i use yes. uh, less servers so automatically the sign uh, this uh, cost will reduce so simply to yeah. remember this you can also just for your understanding i'm telling you can just consider this uh, electricity bill or any post paid mobile bill similar to that okay yeah yeah so very good i think uh, you have uh, tried to explain it very good and uh, what is this ease of planning so any uh, si similarly you can try for this also what would be this ease of planning no you can just try even if it is wrong user, it user is okay. interface is changing yeah like uh, user interface is changing according to no, no, just uh, i think uh, just kamal is trying just okay give him some uh, opportunity yeah kamal tell me yes sir yeah. here um, go global in the minutes or in weekly so your day by day user interface is changing like the flipkart is changing as per the week weekends like that okay according to the daily requirement okay easy of the changing that okay that will be easy to change okay yeah i think yeah yes. venkatesh i think uh, what were you saying yeah uh, like prediction sir uh okay predicting the uh, traffic and uh, planning accordingly it okay. uh, it makes us easy in planning okay can you please elaborate uh, one or two points more for this uh, uh as same examples uh, so like uh, yeah, you can take same example not not a problem yeah, you can take in the festival one time example yeah suppose uh, in the coming month they, if there is the uh, dipavali then uh, they will plan accordingly uh, based on the uh, traffic there okay uh, uh, based on the prediction okay so before beforehand they will be keeping all the things ready so planning yes ready okay yeah good good fine so uh, one thing uh, okay i think most of you have understood the concepts but uh, try to explain with some example okay so that will say uh, that will make uh, more sense and uh, more st uh, stronger impact when you are attending interviews okay so just don't try to explain as it is okay so uh, never try to explain aws in the form of definitions no okay so simply you try to correlate the concept with some example okay so that will do good okay fine so getting into this so i think from today we'll start working on this aws portal so so first of all i think uh, we need one aws account right so we'll create one aws account today and uh, we'll try to create one service 
such that uh, you'll uh, have some idea so where it starts and how to use it okay so that we'll try i think uh, most of you have got this uh, uh, what is it atm cards right so atm cards and uh, uh, visa card basically so we need one atm card for creating an account and uh, there are mo uh, there are so many misconceptions i'll clarify you need not have a credit card okay even with uh, by using a debit card you can create account and the second one is uh, we we are going to opt for a free account okay so that means you will not be spending any money and uh, third one is people might be thinking that if you use these services my money my because you are giving uh, giving this uh, card details in the future they might be deducting money from your cards okay that will not going to happen okay because you are going for the free account so they will not deduct any money from your account in the future also and also even if uh, if i forget please uh, ask me how to close the account okay so when you whenever you are not using the account how to close the account that also please uh, if i forget please remind me i'll also show you how to close the account and the uh, next thing is how to track your billing so basically this billing will happen for every 24 hours cycle okay so today's bill will be reflected tomorrow and tomorrow's bill will be reflected day after tomorrow so basically it's a 24 hours a cycle so how to track your bills so that also i can i will show you okay so first i think uh, we'll create an account so basically the only requirement is you need to have an uh, email account and one atm card mostly there will be it might be a debit card is fine and also credit card is also fine you can also create one account using debit card mostly uh, they will be accepting visa cards so try to get that and also using one card you can create multiple accounts okay basically when we do this practical class in uh, in uh, offline session uh, we'll share the same debit card with multiple accounts so one card you can create multiple accounts that's not a problem okay so getting into it so we'll try so basically the website is just you can just uh, go to google and uh, search for aws free account okay so please remember that you will be creating a free account okay so aws free tier account okay search for this i think i hope guys are you able to see the screen are you getting the screen Sir, yes, sir. Guys, are you following the yes, screen? Sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. So AWS uh, free tier account we'll try to create. This is just for testing purposes only. So they will not give you so many uh, resources. So remember that all the services are not open with free services. Okay. so don't remember that if you create one uh, free services account that means you can able to access all the features no so this free tier account will have only limited features it will not uh, give access to all the features of amazon so i have clicked on it so as you can see aws free tier account so by clicking on this we can uh, create a free account but let us uh, try to understand what are all they are offering me in a free tier account okay so so if i click on free tier okay so left you can select this uh, trials account if you click on this trial account so what are all you will be getting so you will be getting amazon ec2 750 hours so ec2 is nothing but one server ec2 stands for elastic cloud compute okay elastic cloud compute which uh, which in our local terms refer to 
server it might be a linux server or it might be uh, one uh, windows server or it might be some amazon server so any of the server so as you can see they are giving us 750 hours okay that means you can use up to 750 hours of server time okay next they are giving you storage so amazon s3 storage so s3 storage is combination of all like uh, similar to your uh, one drive or g drive so where you will be uh, keeping uh, you can keep multiple types of file system whether it is audio images videos or whatever it is so any type of files can be stored in amazon storage and uh, they are giving uh, providing us one uh, database so this database will be running on a server okay so th that is why they are asking they are saying that uh, amazon rts which will be running on a server so that is why they are providing 750 hours of server so basically you need to rts stand for relational database service okay so relational database what is relational database that we'll try to understand in our class so next is database so so as you can see no sql so that means this is not relational database okay so basically sql stands for structured query language okay structured query language refers to this re relational database or else you can also call relational database as structured query language both are same relational database or structured query language so this is one type of database for storing your information so that we will discuss in our uh, later part so another type of database is no relational or no sql database okay as you can see they are giving us no sql database okay so they are giving us up to 25 gb of no sql database and also remember that there are so many no sql databases in the market so my, uh, this mongodb will is also one of uh, no sql database and uh, remember that amazon dynamo db uh, db is the database which has been created by amazon okay and similarly when you say uh, uh, sql database or uh, relational database there are so many databases for example mysql is there postgres sql is there sql server is there these are all sql database and remember that amazon is providing this databases in the name of amazon rds okay so mostly we'll try to focus on this one is we'll we'll try to work on some servers we'll try to work on storages we'll try to work on uh, databases which are which has both both sql as well as mysql databases okay so i think this analytics we can, we, we might be using sometimes okay and apart from this mostly we'll be as because uh, we are uh, into this uh, devops so we'll be working on concepts of uh, docker and uh, ecs eks kubernetes and uh, jenkins okay these tools also we'll be trying to work on okay so before getting into deeper into that first uh, we'll uh, start with basics so wh whenever you get uh, into expertise then we can explore more and more so we'll start with basic so first we'll try to create one uh, aws account and then we can we'll try to create one server okay as you can see this uh, free trial period is for over of 12 months only okay so one account if you create you'll be able to create for only 12 months you can use that account for 12 months basically it changes from uh, organization to organization so basically uh, microsoft azure they will be providing you in the form of credentials for example what they will do is they will uh, they will give you 100 dollars for a period of 30 days so that is how you will be testing microsoft azure so each one each one will uh, have different types of uh, marketing uh, uh, things so azure will give you 30 days and also they will uh, put 100 dollars in your account such that you can use this hundred dollars for a month of, for a period of one month but the scenario in of uh, aws is different 
they are giving you this uh, free trial account for 12 months so it doesn't mean that uh, all this 12 months you can use all the services no they are giving you some limited set of uh, fe features for example this uh, uh, i think i can just correlate here itself so basically uh, amazon is providing you server okay so they are telling you that they are giving you 750 hours of server time so remember that uh, as you know because uh, we know that there are different types of uh, hardware configuration in a computer i think last time we have discussed like uh, i3 will be uh, uh, less less speed than i5 and uh, i5 will be less speed than i7 and also similarly if you are working on memory 1 gb will do uh, for a set of uh, 10 jobs 2 gb will do 20 jobs 3 gb will do 30 jobs 4 gb will do 40 jobs so in the same way uh, amazon will not give you huge computational power computers remember that so here they are selling you that t2 dot micro that means they are they will give you a server with very very minimal configuration that means that server will be able to do some micro operation or similarly they are giving you t3 dot micro it comes with very very less memory I think uh, they will give you some 0 0.25 of uh, CPU power, maybe some uh, 512 MB of uh, uh, RAM and maybe around some 20 GB of uh, hard disk space. Because it is a free account, they won't give you all at once. You can't directly get into Amazon, create a free account and uh, you can create one uh, processor with uh, 8 core processor, maybe some 16 GB of RAM and maybe one, tera, one terabyte of hard disk or uh, some uh, 512 MB of SSD. No, Micro, uh, this uh, Amazon will not do, uh, give you that opportunity. So they'll give you in very, very minimal configuration. Okay, so this is in case of uh, AWS. So we'll try to uh, create one AWS free account. So create a, click on create a free account. So remember that there will be uh, one thing is you need to remember that first thing is uh, there will be two uh, two users. For example, if you are creating one account for the organization, so under this organization there will be so many employees. For example, uh, uh, for example, manager is there. So under this uh, under his manager some team will be working so some team will be working on databases some team will be working on uh, development some people uh, some team will be working on testing so what you do is the manager will create the root account so the root account will be standing for the admin or the owner we can say so apart from that all the sub users like developers testers and uh, designers database uh, administrators so these will become sub users so root user is uh, is the main user or else we can also call it as a manager or admin so other users will come under sub users okay remember that now we are you are able to you will be able, you are creating one root user account so you can we might be asking like who are all this uh, what will be the accounts given for uh, uh, testers what will be the account given for uh, database administrators or what is will be the account given for developers so this root user will create sub users after uh, getting an account okay so he is he will be managing all the other people like developers and testers so after creating one root account we'll try to understand how that uh, sub accounts will be created okay so for that we'll be using a concept called IAM that uh, we'll explore further. Okay. So first get into this uh, root user email address. So I think just now I have created one email address uh, today in the morning. So my email address is AWS April 2023 at the rate gmail.com. Okay. I'll copy it. Okay. So paste. So AWS April 2023 is my gmail account so username you can keep whatever you are wishing for okay so in my case it is aws april 2023 so then click on verify email address okay so
so what they have done they have sent my uh, verification code to my email address so i'll just go back and check so mail okay okay as you can see i got one email aws email verification so click on that so this is my verification code copy and paste so just paste the verification code click on verify okay so i think the email address got verified so here you need to create one root user password so as you can see it need to be combination of uh, so many things upper case letter one lower case letter one number and one alpha uh, alpha numeric characters okay it need uh, so because uh, because it is a very uh, uh, main account so that is why it is having such typical password so it should be a combination of upper letter uh, upper letter small letter numbers and also non alpha 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 numeric characters that means any special characters like uh, at the rate exclamatory hash like that okay so it need to be combination of all the things okay i have created one uh, password so click on next continue remember that you need to correctly do this five steps for so one step has been completed so for future use i'll be saving this uh, password for myself so here you can say how do you plan to use aws so this is for my personal use so i'll say personal and remember that it is for free tier offer okay so give a full name so phone number you can add country so uh, india it is plus 91 so you can give your mobile number country or region also you can select it as india okay address So this is uh, step number two. I have given. Click on continue. So here uh, you'll be asking for your uh, card details. You can just provide your card details here. Okay, as you can see that they are asking for this Visa card, Amer uh, Master card, and American Express card. So mostly all our uh, 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 maybe all our uh, ATM cards will be working on this uh, Visa cards only. so basically what they'll do is just uh, they'll do this uh, verification they'll try to deduct around some 2 to 3 rupees from your account and also they will uh, return the back the same amount after the verification okay so 2 to 3 rupees will be deducted from your account okay so in the, here you need to uh, enter your card number Okay, so you need to enter your card details. Okay, you can select the billing address, and also I think you can ignore this. Uh, if you are having this pan card you can say no that's not a uh, problem and this is the third step click on verify and continue i think mostly when you are doing this uh, 
uh, creating account mostly uh, you'll be facing the problem at this uh, what we call uh, at stage 3 only and uh, here you can see that uh, they are charging me 2 rupees okay so for this transaction they will be getting an OTP on your mobile on mobile number and uh, okay. so enter your OTP okay done so third step has been completed now the fourth step so we want to send verification code on sms so i'll say in uh, one verification code number you can here you need to give your mobile number okay so give your mobile number enter the security check 8 gb b e d i think y y d it is click on send sms so the before one was verification for your uh, card and this is verification for your mobile number click on continue and uh, this is very very important step so that is the last step so here uh, please make sure that you don't make the mistake so here you need to select basic support and free account only okay so if you are selecting any developer account that means every month this 29 dollars will be deducted from your account so if you are going for the business support account 100 dollars will be deducted from your account so make sure that we will be working on basic free app only and also if you want to change this plan we can also change this plan in the future okay so that means after creating this free account if you want the this account to be changed to uh, this the developer or business account we can do that also but now in any in at any cost please don't try to opt for any of the other options just go with the basic account if there is need you can shift in the later okay maybe in the uh, after uh, after uh, getting your account you can change it not a problem you can shift between these accounts but in the initial case please go with the basic support only okay so click on complete sign up okay as you can see uh, congratulations thank you for signing up for aws we are activating your account which should take a few minutes so you will receive an email when this is complete okay so now the, this account uh, creation process is uh, complete so mostly uh, it has happened to me in a very uh, simpler manner but uh, this will not be the scenario with most of the cases because I have uh, practically done it uh, so many times so I have faced no issues but uh, while you guys are trying you might be facing some errors maybe sometimes uh, errors with the card and uh, sometimes uh, problem with the verification and sometimes this page doesn't show up properly okay so take your time properly and try to create this account so after this i just go to aws management console click on this So here uh, you can uh, select your role. So my role is academic and research. Whatever it is, it's uh, it uh, it's not that specifically you need to select any other uh, role. It is uh, completely according to your choice. Whichever you are interested in, you can select. Okay. There is no specific thing that you should uh, select this and that. Nothing like that. So you can select whichever. Uh, applies for you and uh, click on submit okay now that account complete uh, creation has completed so close this if you want to log in into your account so simply what you can do is just go to your google
and uh, search for AWS console. Okay, so previously we have searched for AWS free tier account. Okay, now what we have done is we go we have got a free tier account, right? So we need to log in and use this AWS features. So for that, what do we need to do is you need to go to this website called AWS console. Okay, so click on this AWS console. So here uh, we'll be accessing the AWS portal. Okay, so AWS console. So click on AWS console. So for your uh, this thing, you can also remember it as aws.amazon.com slash console. So we can also call it as AWS management console. This is uh, just an ad. So you can see sponsored. This is an ad. So that is why I'm not getting into it. So here is the main, uh, actual website. So AWS management console. So click on it. So here you can say uh, sign in to the console. So click on sign in to the console. Okay. So here you can see there are two types of users. One is a root user and one is IAM user. Okay. So as I just now, I think while creating the account only, I have told you there will be two types of users. One is the root user. We can also consider him it as admin or manager. And these are all IAM user are nothing but the sub users which are being created by the root user. Okay. This person will be the root user he will be uh, creating the IAM users according to the accessibility because as you can see when uh, a, in uh, AWS uh, as you can see in the last time I think uh, um, so this AWS services uh, in this AWS account only you'll be having multiple services right uh, like for example we can able to create databases we'll be able to create uh, storages we will be able to create servers so as you can see each individual will be handling certain things okay for example uh, you can take uh, developers so developers uh, need not work on uh, servers developers need not work on storages so developers they might, uh, might be only looking after the databases so what we will do is we will uh, give this we will create one uh, database user and we will give access to the databases to one database user. So that is nothing but IAM user. So what this IAM user can do is he can only access to the databases. That means he will not have access to any other services like servers or uh, storages or uh, any other thing. Okay. His activity is like only working with the databases. So he will only be given access only to the databases. Similarly, there will be some testing team. So they will have only some set of tools. So I'll create. Uh, so what this root user will do? He will create one uh, uh, account for the testing testing person, and he will be given access only to the testing related services. Right. So the root user has that capability. He can create users, and only fix what this person can use. For example, developers, they will be given only database access no other access will be provided similarly testing team so only testing related services will be given access no other uh, activities will be given access so all the access will be uh, uh, will be handled only by the root user okay so this will have uh, this root user will have all the privileges to access all the services whereas IEM users will have only limited number of access to the to the services which are decided by the root user okay so while uh, working on that you'll be uh, exploring more so we'll make make that clear how that works that also I'll try to explain okay so right now we are the main owner so we are the head so we'll be using this root user account so click on this i think my account name is uh, okay so the email address which you have created for uh, your account you can take that so copy and paste 
awr chapra 23 at the red gmail.com this is my root user account so you should give the password sign in so i will save it for the future use so now you have uh, logged in into the aws account or people uh, sometimes uh, they will call it as console sometime uh, they will call it as management console sometime uh, uh, they will uh, call it as uh, aws uh, sorry aws portal so there will be so many names given to this so whichever is uh, convenient for you you can use that okay so as you know that aws is providing you so many hundreds of uh, services so all the services are categorized i think uh, in the ppt we have uh, checked the categories so click on the services so if you click on the services you will be able to all see the all the categories right so these are all the different categories which aws is providing you so for example if you are uh, if you want to work on servers okay servers uh, and uh, networking some these kind of activities so what you need to select is you need to select on compute so this is one category so under this category as you can see these are all the services which amazon is providing for you so aws app runner batch ec2 ec2 image builder these are all services so remember that these are all only categories and uh, these are all services okay so any any service you can select and you can create and also remember that all the services are not open for you amazon will be providing only limited number of services why because this is a free account okay so similarly you can see go to this uh, databases section so inside your databases section so all the services related to the databases you can find here so amazon document that database dynamo database elastic cache database and the rds database okay these are all different databases which amazon is offering similarly you can go to this container section so as you can see ecs container register ecr elastic container register elastic container service elastic kubernetes service red hat open shift service on aws so all the activities related to the containers okay so what we shall try to do is so as you can see front end uh, mobile related uh, activities game development activities similarly internet of things activities so machine learning activities so so everything is so as you can see everything is categorized okay so we need to first learn on which category our uh, service is located so as i told you an example if you want to work on server related uh, activities so you need to uh, you need to know that compute is the sec section where all the services related to your servers will be handled okay so you can see ec2 elastic cloud computer uh, compute section where you will be creating virtual servers in the cloud okay so this is where all your services are located and also what you can do is you can directly search with the name so for example i will say ec2 right you can get all the ec2 related services similarly you can uh, select for containers so container related uh, services will be showing up for you okay so similarly you can ask for kubernetes okay so uh, directly you will get instead of uh, finding it in your services section and uh, most importantly and uh, one more thing you what you need to remember is your region as you know that amazon data centers are located on different uh, sections of the world so they are, they are placing so many number of data center throughout the globe and uh, here is the place where you need to keep your region where you need to set your region one second guys i think i'm getting some bots and
okay so here you can see on which region uh, you are working on so as you can see these are all uh, different uh, regions where the data centers of aws are located so what would i suggest is you need to select the closest one for your account so as you can see uh, we are located i think around uh, we are we, we fall under this asia pacific region so the closest one for us is asia pacific mumbai okay so this is uh, this is the closest one located to us so you can select this one and also remember that all, always keep this ap south one okay so you can uh, keep that uh, you can just remember this name so whichever uh, this is the data center which we will be working on because that is the closest one for us and also we cannot, we cannot say that only this is the play, uh, you need to select only this database no you can also by sitting here you can also select any other uh, databases also you can also work on this uh, east uh, us east us uh, us east ohio or virginia or uh, canada central or tokyo you can find uh, you can work on any other data centers also but what would we suggest is because we are uh, uh, for our uh, for us asia pacific mumbai is the closest one so we will be selecting ap south one okay i have selected this and uh, this is a notification section and this is uh, where you be finding resources to uh, learning uh, resources to learn regarding this uh, aws so that also i'll just uh, try to cover up but before that you need to main thing what you need to know is you need to just understand your account so this is the main section where you will be working on so here i think you can go to this uh, billing dashboard so that is one of the important section which you need to know because every day you might be uh, using this uh, using our uh, services so every time every day you will be billed that means you are running your server for uh, 12 hours today so 12 hours uh, aws will be charging you right so so you need to manage this expenses so that is a major part what we need to handle okay so how to reduce that cost and how to if you do any uh, small mistake that will have a huge impact on your billing so that is why the most important thing is you need to look after the billing section so every day you need to be managing it okay so in the, because this is a free tire uh, what happens is as you have already provided your card details if you go beyond the limit so if you go beyond the limit then they will start charging for you okay so just uh, click on this uh, billing dashboard so if you uh, cross your free tier limits then automatically aws will start uh, 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 impo uh, start uh, calculating the charges for you okay so this in this billing section every day what happens is so here maybe in this uh, section so you can be able to see your bill every day okay make uh, make sure that uh, you can also make a habit of this like uh, before uh, closing your account or uh, before closing your account or before signing of the account you can just go through the billing page where you can see what has uh, happened today so you can just understand every day you can track every day what is happening to your account so as you can see this is just showing me estimated grand total of usd zero dollars for now because we haven't started using any other uh, any services so far okay so here just you can just explore what are all things they are uh, providing you okay so just we need to explore because when you start this i, I recommend you to explore this thing okay right now we have not created any uh, free tier services so it has not showing and uh, one more important thing is uh, what you need to understand is before uh, creating this aws uh, this thing there is uh, one thing called aws 
calculator so most of the interviews people might be asking how 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 will you estimate or how you, how do you know the prices so what are the charges example so there will be so many doubts right so how much they will charge for you so if i use this type of service how much uh, they will be charging so one thing is you need always keep note that there will be an aws calculator available for you which is provided by amazon where you can estimate and calculate your requirements accordingly so very very important thing is you need just be of aware of this tool called aws pricing calculator okay always keep that mind so this is all most of the people even after working and learning so many services on this uh, uh, service on aws the basic thing they forget is this uh, is uh, aws calculator they don't know how much uh, charges will be uh, uh, taken by the amazon so this thing just you need to keep aware of and just try to explore this tool called the aws uh, explorer sorry calculator So click on this uh, create estimate. So here you can find one uh, service. So for example, if I say EC2 or else you can just say location region, you can take normal and you can all take as Mumbai. Okay. So we'll try to find out for EC2. Okay, so Amazon EC2. So I'll uh, configure. So here you can see if I'm using number of instances. Instances stand for your server. That means if you are maintaining one server, how much it would cost? If you are maintaining hundred servers, how much it would? cost so basically what have, uh, this is regarding the number of instances stand for the number of servers as you can see it is constant usage that means it will it will be running these servers consistently that means continuously throughout the month or throughout the year so daily spike traffic you can just estimate one if you are adding on one day or weekly specific or monthly specific so you can choose it accordingly okay and uh, here you can see so uh, uh, this instance what happens is they won't give you the configuration directly so basically what amazon have done is they have give, given names for each configuration okay so what happens here is as you can see in, when you open this instant family so there are two, so many types of instances this you might not be able to understand in this uh, early uh, stage so similarly what you can info if, for example i think if you can see on info okay so uh, here i think you might be getting some idea for example if i click on this t2 okay t2 variant i can say if you click on this t2 variant okay so t2 variant if i scroll down so what are all they're providing for me so t2 dot nano for example the instance name instance stands for your server so if i if i say t2 dot nano so t under this t, uh, all uh, this instances will fall under t2 category so if i select t2 dot nano i will be selecting one cpu and uh, 0.5 gb of ram okay so similarly if i say t2 dot micro i'll be getting one cpu and also i'll be getting one gb of memory so similarly if i select t2 dot x large so i'll get four core processor with 16 GB of memory. So this combination will change accordingly to all these sections. Okay. So basically sometimes you might be needing huge configuration or we can say huge uh, computational power or uh, huge uh, calculations you need to handle. So that time you can just select accordingly. As you can see here, it is general purpose computer compute based. So for example, if I click on this compute based, you can see so for example if they are providing me uh, if i'm going for c7g dot metal 
so if i'm selecting this this instance what happens is they will be providing me with 64 uh, core processor and 128 gb of ram so that means this uh, server is able to handle huge and uh, tough calculations so in case if you want to go according to if you want your server to do huge calculations or you need to do huge uh, computational thing so that time you can select for this i think this is provided under t2 only so not okay not t2 it is provided under c7g so c7g dot metal it is providing up to 64 core processor and 128 gb of memory for example where you are working under this t2 which you have just gone through the maximum t2 will be so 8 core processor and 32 gb of memory only so this is just for their uh, configuration purpose such that they can uh, fulfill according to your need so general purpose very uh, normal servers we can use mostly we are under this free category we are uh, have will be having access only to this t2 general purpose servers only so where you need to some computational powers so where you need this memory optimized storage or accelerated computing so for that section you need to have a business account so uh, only for those uh, business uh, people account this access will be given so as we are working on this uh, free tier account will be having access only to this t2 and t3 features okay so and one more thing what you need to remember is if you are uh, uh, for us only uh, they will be providing uh, t3 dot nano or t3 dot micro i think t3 dot micro or t2 t3 dot nano so this only you will be able to use okay so getting back so for example so you can just estimate for example here as you can see instance family just we have gone through so for ex i think we have seen some m7 right okay we'll go with m6g so i'll ask uh, for example i will ask uh, 64 uh, cpu power and if i ask for uh, 60 gb of memory and also the network performance also you can select for example up to 5 gb gigabit so this is nothing but the bandwidth from the server okay so here you can select mc6g dot metal so here you can do that calculation so if I'm selecting uh, this particular uh, M6, uh, M6G dot metal with uh, 64 core processor and uh, 256 GB of RAM and 25 gigabit of uh, bandwidth. And also we need to remember that the, according to the storages also uh, the pricing will be changing. As you know there will be different uh, storage devices like HDD we can use or we can use SSD. So SSD will be costing you more. Why? Because SSD will be costly and SSD is very fast in retrieving your data. Whereas, uh, so for example, if you use HDD, the price will be different. If at all, if you are using uh, in case of SDD, the price will be different. And also remember that it changes with so many parameters. One is your memory, your processor, your uh, bandwidth, your uh, storage, and also according to your operating system also as you know that linux is an operating system it is an open source operating system that means anybody can use it for free so that is why linux operating is free so uh, amazon will not charge you anything for the operating system whereas if you select the same operating system of microsoft and the pricing will change why because microsoft will be uh, Microsoft operating system, for example, Microsoft uh, server operating system R2 or uh, uh, is not available for free. So you need to get a license to use that operating system. So in that case, even the cost which has been uh, uh, taken for this operating system will also be included. So there will be slight changes with the operating uh, in the calculation of this. this thing. So instance, so average price will be one point. 
6192 okay so that will be my average cost so monthly cost would be this much uh, what the main specifically i want to focus is so the you need to be aware of all the charges so basically the server is the simplest one which i would uh, everyone can try to uh, correlate so that is i what i have done is i have selected the 64 core cpu memory network bandwidth right and one linux operating system so uh, as you these are all different parameters where you will be uh, selecting your server similarly so if i am running with this much load or this many features so the cost is this much so just you need to uh, understand how the pricing category will work okay so this is also one of the important tool so where you can estimate your uh, charges from the aws okay so this you need to keep of aware uh, keep uh, aware of this so before creating any service first come to this place and uh, search for the uh, service and try to understand the pricing factor of that particular service so that is also one good practice while working on aws okay one is you need to check your daily billing section and one you need to check uh, uh, check with the price calculator so if you use two or three times you will get uh, uh, get aware of this two okay so that you can select so just try to uh, experiment with this aws pricing calculator okay so that will help you to understand better of the services and also your uh, things which you use in the aws okay so this you need to please work on and uh, coming back to the billing section so you need to just check your daily bills So this is a section where you can also work on okay so just now i have seen uh, we have uh, gone through this a, a, uh, aws ec2 right so we can just click on ec2 first you can just uh, go to the pricing calculator then you can uh, just uh, just uh, find your uh, as a, uh, estimated code then accordingly you need to fix this okay so i think it is not uh, uh, helping me to create one service so thanks for signing up with the aws services i have directed you this page because you have not finished registering okay i think uh, the account has not completely made okay so i think uh, this will happen uh, once you just uh, restart your browser so that will automatically uh, 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 resolve that issue be mainly because of the cookies this is not helping so i think if i close this browser automatically that uh, recording might end okay so we don't want that to happen and uh, we can't continue using the services mm. okay guys i think uh, what you can do for today is just uh, create and cre create this aws free account and uh, keep it ready for today and uh, just explore the billing section and uh, just explore this uh, aws uh, pricing calculator okay so if you keep this uh, things ready and uh, we can just continue for the tomorrow's class from tomorrow we'll be starting to create services and we'll start using them okay so i think uh, that is it for uh, today's class yeah please someone is asking yeah, that. Share this, uh, share this class. yeah sure i'll do it i'll do it okay and make sure that everybody uh, will be uh, ready uh, by creating your aws account okay i i need everyone of you to create an aws account okay so mostly uh, we, what we try to do is we try to uh, do this uh, uh, aws services in the uh, students account only so we'll share some student screen and we'll try we'll just uh, guide them in using uh, creating the services okay so that i think you can uh, i'll uh, be able to understand from tomorrow but uh, today's requirement is please create one aws account without fail i want all of you to have an aws account 
for tomorrow okay so that is it for today's class and uh, in uh, if you are having any doubts please let me know nothing sir okay sir fine then yeah okay okay then we'll meet in tomorrow's class fine thank you thank you everyone okay and uh, please don't forget to create this aws account today itself